Whoa. 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 Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to Just a Social Casualty. I am going to review the thing I was going to do for Spooky Week. I ended up not being able to do a video on Spooky Week because I ended up almost fracturing my foot. I'm going to be reviewing a game. It's sort of like a Ouija board, but listen. It's called Kokuri-san. Kokuri-san is supposedly a Japanese god who takes the form of a fox, a dog, and a raccoon. He comes through and you can ask him questions about the future and stuff. Well, I've done this like eight times, I think. And he's really nice. It's safer than a regular Ouija board because a regular Ouija board is just opening a void for anything that is near to come in, which could include demons or evil presences or anything. But Kokuri-san is a specific entity and he's the only one that can come through. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this, and I'm going to tell you some of my experiences. But first of all, you have to make the board. The board is simple to make. You can just make it on a regular piece of paper. Everything has to be in black ink besides the Tori, which is in red ink. And the Tori is the opening for him to come through. But basically, you take the board, and then you and a friend have to put an index finger on a coin. In order to call him, you have to say his name twice and then say, are you here? If you would say anything to offend him or something, you would want to apologize because you don't want him on your bad side because he is a mischievous spirit. That's all he does. He will not hurt you. He will not do anything like that. It's just he, he can lie to you and he can mess with your brain. I played this three times with my friend Elena. Once with my friend Luke, once with my friend Lisa, and then twice with my mom. And some of the stuff that's happened has been pretty creepy. Um, at first when I was doing it, um, my friend's phone started ringing. And then she, we were like, who is that? And the coin slid to D. And it was her boyfriend Dakota calling. A lot of the, like, it would be just coincidence, maybe, but... Um, he told me that I was going to be able to graduate high school early and I ended up emailing my counselor and I'm graduating early this year. One of the creepiest things to happen, in all honesty, was my friend Lisa and I were just playing like two days ago and we're sitting here on the bed and I had it between our laps and she said, when is my boyfriend going to call me? He went, N. O W. And as soon as we got to her messaging app, he texted her. It was so weird. He's sassy. He's told me lots of things that just sort of seem unreal that I match up with things from real life. And also I got my friend Juliana up in Columbus to play. A lot of what I was told matches up with her and vice versa. And it's just really weird. There are some things that he just won't tell you because he wants it to be a surprise. Basically, when you start the game, you're gonna put the coin somewhere on the thing. You're both, you and your partner are gonna put your finger on the coin and you're gonna say his name and you're gonna say, are you here? You barely press the coin, like barely. You're gonna get this feeling in your arm and you're gonna, it's gonna move. You're not pushing it, but you're touching it and it's moving. And it's sort of really weird. Cause like, it's just like, you know where you're going. And that's the way it works. You can't fight it though. If you're gonna play this game, you need to do it safely. When my friend and I first played it, we started and then stopped and then started again and stopped. And then when we played it for the third time that day, felt as soon as we said his name, we felt this really tense energy. And it just felt bad. And both of us were just like, okay, let's continue playing. So we started, we kept playing. And like, even when we weren't asking questions, like it would just move a lot. And I felt like he was really aggravated with us. So we decided just to end the game there. And also, um, if you're going to ask questions, usually you have to make them yes or no or short answer questions. He does not like spelling out long answers. He told me himself that he is lazy and doesn't like to spell. There are sometimes whenever you ask a question and the coin will go Z-O-E or Z-O-E, yes. And that either means that I'm not going to tell you or you already know the answer. Um, when my friend and I first started playing, 
we were sort of skeptical about it. We're like, well, I'm gonna ask a question that you don't know and you're gonna ask a question that I don't know, see if the answers. And then I asked what my grandmother's name was and it spelled out her name. And then Elena, my friend that I was playing with, said, what's my mom's social security number? Went to her social security number. I didn't know that, she didn't know my grandma's name. And that was sort of like where we were like, whoa. And you look at the game and the rules and stuff. A lot of the time it says um, that you have to have a door or a window open to the outside so we can come in. I don't, I haven't done that. I don't need that. It also says do not play alone. I would not risk this, but I have done it. Um, he said a lot of things that just don't seem true, but both my mom, my mom and I were trying, we're playing last night and like something that he told us just completely baffled us. Like this did not happen. Like this is not going to happen. It has to do with our LA trip and we're just like, this is not going to happen. And she was trying to fight the coin and like I was going with the coin and she was trying to pull it back and it wasn't going. It kept going with me even though I was barely touching it. So yes, if you want to dabble in the paranormal, Kokori Song would be the way to go. He's not scary at all. He's very nice. He's just a little bit mysterious and if he gives you an answer that sort of sounds weird, ask him if he's lying. Usually he'll tell you right away if he's lying. Um, he won't drag things on. Um, so give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and comment below if you're going to try playing this game or if you have tried playing this game before. Raina seems to not be able to get it to work for her, but it's worked for me and everyone that I've tried it with and it works for my friend Juliana. You can subscribe to this channel for videos from me every Saturday, videos from the rest of the girls all the rest of the week, and you can subscribe to my main channel for videos from me every weekend. Just remember, I'm Lindsay and I'm just a social casualty.